all unloaded and done. Bill's all signed. Happy days. Uh, Bean is awake. Bit of a restful night last night. Uh, not the best, but it is what it is when you're tipping at 4.30 in the morning. It took four hours. Walmart always takes four hours. Never anymore. Never any less. Four hours. Uh, but that's, uh, you know, you expect that and that's the way it is. So, um, uh, we have now found a hotel we can go to at Coca Beach. There's another one I've stayed in a couple of times before when I've been down here, and I can't find it for the love of, the love of life of me. Um, it's only a real small little motel, and it's not on the Google Map thing. I think I have a rough idea where it is. Uh, so we're going to head that way. If not, we've got uh, La Quinton in um, at. Uh, uh, right on the beach actually they say they've got parking for the truck and trailer so that's ideal there so we can uh, we can make it in there hopefully he looks uh, an official guy walking by he looks a grumpy man Serious looking man. Anyway, so that's that's the plant. There we are. We're there. And last one's here. There's a couple left. Not many. Uh, beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. The weather forecast uh, was some showers, but to be expected this time of year. And what have you? But that sky doesn't look as though it's going to give any showers for a while. We've got to uh, do a bit of running about. We've got to go to the bank and stuff like that. So I've got to check Where's this last the one. So let's go. Oh, we need bucket and spade as well, don't we, Jack? Do we need a bucket and spade? Yes? Bucket and spade. Okay. Here we go. Just going, we're going to the bank. Yeah. Turn right on uh, the how, how, how cool is this, isn't it? Um, just nip to the bank with the truck and trailer. Just happened to be one right here, so uh, I was going to get rid of the trailer first and come back. But as going past, I thought, let's yowage. We can get a trailer in there. So, and you know what? Probably nobody will say anything in the bank turning up in a truck and trailer. That's the uh, bizarre thing. It's just like, okay, yeah, that's so not really normal, but you got to do what you got to do. And we've got it. Yeah, that's why Daddy went for this bank when we first moved up here because I like their history and their the stuff about the Wells Fargo, one of the oldest, oldest banks uh, in America. So look there, bank. Let's do the bank thing. Release the bean. Let's give these bank people money so they can. Help. They can look after it for me and charge me. Oh, stop. Oh, dear. And charge me for the privilege. Which is always a nice thing, isn't it? Get out of bowl, uh, Milwaukee, as you come miles, down here. Arrive at 1275 North Atlantic Avenue on the right. On the right. He was just back there. We'll see it on the way back. Or if we go back out, we'll maybe drop the trailer and go for a ride. Hey, we can get some scooters. Yeah. We can get some scooters. Recipe for disaster, isn't it? Me and Jack on a scooter, Coke and Powers Mobile. Oh my god, this has just got such a laid back salt life as soon as you turn off and come down. I love it, love it. But man, it's so humid at the moment. That's why the prices are right down because this time of year the humidity is absolutely amazing. Hello? Hey, bud. No worries, because I ain't going to get the other one until... Uh, I'll give him a call anyway and have a chat with him. 
because I are going to get the other one. We're down, just coming down the uh, strip at uh, Cocoa Beach right now. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to check into the hotel and uh, then do some stuff. It's so humid here, though. Wow. It's, it's, uh, it's, only it's only 97, but the humidity. What oh, is it? <laughs> but we're gonna have some fun, that's for sure. Cheers, bye bye. Why won't you tell them anything? Why won't what? You tell them anything. Oh, uh, I, do, I forgot I was videoing Jack, that's why. That's the best way to Oh, sorry, peoples. Uh, I was multitasking then and not doing it right. There's this voice. We've got to walk to get to the beach. Oh! Uh, I don't know. We could maybe get one of them, and you could sit on the back. See, I know I've got somewhere I can definitely park in two and a half miles of the hotel that I uh, I rang up, which is uh, La Quinta, La Quinta, La Quinta, La Quinta, something or other. Uh, they've got a big parking lot. So I thought better to call them. No, because I, I Google mapped it, and Google Maps amazing thing. You can actually look on the street and see where it all is and, and stuff like that, which is getting my way. I'll see what's happening. The ones on the left hand side, Jack, look, well, there ain't a lot of parking. I got rid of the trailer. So I couldn't find anywhere to get rid of the trailer, so it's dragging behind me like uh, the unwanted sibling when you were a kid that your parents made you, well, I, I didn't, but I, I was probably like that to my sister, had to look after and take with you. It's dragging along, I don't really want it there, but. <laughs> having to come with me, screaming and kicking. Shout if we see somewhere to... The beach is just on the left there. And our hotel is going to be on the right, so... Nice. I know you want the beach, we'll have to walk to it though. take too long. Oh, I'm sorry. We're here for two days. There's a Denny's right next door as well apparently to the uh, hotel so that'll be good food. Snacks and foods. Ron John's surf shop, the super famous uh, surf shop. Obviously, we're going to have to go there with my surf body. That is quite an extravagant shop, isn't it? Gee. He says you've got to go to the surf shop. You've got to go to the surf shop. Better could get back the trailer and back that super.
collection of vehicles following. Speed. I don't think we're speeding yet. That's for sure. Look how we're speeding going. going. We'll probably get ticketed for going under the speed. Watch, they look as good. No, How you're going to get in going? that car park. How are we going to get to the We're going to have to walk over. We'll take the truck. We'll take the. We'll drop the trailer and take the truck to the beach. It's only over there. It's getting closer because it's getting narrow down here. It obviously isn't that expensive round here, uh, place, because when you look at the shops, you've got uh, public, you've got um, Dollar G uh, General That's and big. all those kind of, what? That's big. That's big. Was it a big car park? Yeah. Do you think we can get, there's a, set, yeah. there's a truck in there, look. There's a truck there, Not just the truck, the front bit. There's another Wells Fargo. What's up? There's a huge car park there, Jack. Arrive at 1275 North Atlantic Avenue on the right. Hilton, Baden? Seems to be going way out. Yeah. He did. So, Why? I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna reverse into there. That's my. They told me to go on the grass, but I don't like the idea of parking on the grass. No, no, I'm going to, I'm going to the, I'm staying in the hotel. So they told me there's a parking lot on the grass. Yeah, so you go to the line and make a left, that leads you to the back. Oh, is that what, it, I thought she meant this grass here, and I'm like, yeah. don't fancy. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. See you later. Oh, we're good. That was nice that the uh, policeman was there, wasn't it? Let's try this, that was handy. I bet he's thinking, well he sounds funny. That lady told me that it was there though. Let's just uh get across here. Right, now we're going the back here. But did she say that way's grown now, does she mean? Oh this way. to talk with people's Jeff. No commercial.
snow tyres and sand chains on. Tropical temperatures, quick, quick, quick! Here we are in Ron John's. We had to come here, didn't we? Really, so it'd been rude not to. So, um, somebody was asking me about parking and what it's like in uh, in America for parking with a with a truck and things like this. Uh, it really is that good. You can. They are pretty friendly. You know, I do think the English accent maybe goes a long way as well. When I always go in and ask permission, I'll go and tell them right now that I've parked my uh, semi in the car park of, of the car park, just a heads up so nobody's got a problem. And then if they do say anything, obviously I'll move up. But I've never been told yet that you can't, uh, you can't leave it there because <laughs> there's plenty of room. That's the good thing, you know, it's not as though you spoil for room like you are in the UK and, and Europe and places like that. So it's uh that's why it goes a long way so here we are we're uh gonna go for a look round because jack wants to hold the camera go on show them around the not just your face this, this way yeah so we're gonna go around and that's my head missing jack you need to tilt it up a bit there you go so we're gonna go over there have a look round, and uh, probably spend some money like we do you know what it is like but if we buy the t-shirts here it's a hundred percent taxable write-off because it's a work t-shirt is it not is it not maybe not here we are in the Ron John shop. It's huge and there's such an array of flip flops. But I've already just bought some not so long back, so we aren't really going to get any. But look, there is absolutely flip flops on flip flops on flip flops, and shirts and Hawaiian shirts and cool shirts and oh, absolutely excellent for my um, dad bod to cover it up and what have you. But ah, uh, yeah, there is a load of stuff in here. There is everything. For the beach, that is, obviously. Here we are, doing our thing, getting ready uh, for tomorrow to move out and stuff like that. It's always good, especially with the lad with me. Uh, he knows about checking oil and things like that by now. Always check your reefer, make sure it's going to start. Everything's still all right and good in there. Uh, I know it is, but just double check and things before you actually get to where you're going. You don't want to turn up where you're going and all of a sudden find the reefer don't start or something like that you're going to be up without a paddle you know what i mean so make sure that's all right fifth wheel obviously as the amount of trucks i see out here without the fifth wheel greased it's just amazing seriously don't fit to grease your fifth wheel you'll start tearing front tires off back tires and all sorts of shit you really will it gives you that notchy feel it's it's a horrible horrible ride you've got to do that fifth wheel you really have watch your head um so we're just going to check the oil, check belts and stuff like that. Uh, remember, obviously, this reefer isn't mine. Uh, it isn't ours. It's uh, off, off, um, what well, am I doing for white for, whoever. Uh, <laughs> nah. but, but still, you need it to work because I'm using it on the way home and stuff like that. Check your fuel. I know my fuel's all right. I've got half a tank in there. It's only going to be at 65 is the, uh, with the plant, so it's hardly going to use any. I'd use a great lot coming down here. Oh my goodness! Did it black smoke? Did a poop of black smoke come out? <laughs> so that's mainly it, and then we'll uh, not super early in the morning. We're gonna have breakfast here. It's been a great time. What you got there? Jack's got Kenworth. Show me Kenworth. We got Kenworth. Ron John been a great couple of days off uh, and it should be a steady ride home well not steady it's got to be 600 miles first couple of a uh, few days and stuff like that but hopefully i'll be able to make a bit of time up and uh, we might even make it to uh, jack where do we need to go the chrome 75 shop yeah do we need to go to the chrome 75 shop yes why do we need to go there because chrome is good yeah bad influence what? You won't get in my face. I wasn't getting your face. So, so do we need to go to the Chrome 75 shop? 
Yes. Why do we need to go there? Because it has chrome and nice things. Yes. Yes. Don't look at me, look at the camera. <laughs> yes, mummy. It's all good. And it's 100% taxable right off. Well, I think it's fair to say we're pretty lucky with the weather on our two days off. There you go. Welcome to Florida in uh, uh, July. Tropical storms are expected. Lots of. Keeps it cool, keeps the temperature down a little bit to 80 degrees. Uh, let me show you just quickly, I'm really liking this feature on the Garmin. Uh, I've, I've got that uh, connected to the internet. So when it comes up, you come in near uh, your um, property, it'll give you the area Turn right at the traffic light. of where you're going. So I don't have to uh, Google map it or anything like that. I can see there's a there's a big turn around place there because I've never been here before uh, and I don't know it at all. So, you know, I can... Uh, then look at it and think, oh yeah, if it is the wrong place or is the wrong place, at least I can get turned around so you don't have to mess about um, doing any Google search before you get here. We're straight in and uh, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt as, the, uh, as it goes. do know this place now. <laughs> this is one I come to all the time. Damn if I'd have known it was here I could have. Oh, this is one of my old customers I think. I'm pretty sure. So yes it is one I've been to before but but it isn't it isn't the actual one I thought it was. I think there's another one further up there on the left hand side. This is uh, my bonsai lady. Last time I came here a few years ago, uh, Jack was very young and Steph was with me and we uh, and they gave us some bonsai if I remember rightly. So we'll get into the into the ting and then uh, we'll chill out and probably have a film if Jack wakes up. I want him to wake up actually otherwise he going to sleep tonight. So here we are, uh, and we're roughing it tonight, so it's Hotel Hotel Peterbilt. Uh, after a couple of nights of relaxing the, in a hotel, beans, uh, it's hot. It is hot. Well, it's not that hot, actually. It's about 80, 85, 89 or something like that, Fahrenheit. Uh, and boop! And uh, it's, but the humidity, man, the humidity here is horrendous. It really is. So we've just been outside messing about playing and stuff like that. Uh, and I polished all the truck up a bit. Um, I hit a bin on the on the freeway. As you do, you know, there happened to be a plastic bin rolling along and it hit into the side. Luckily, it was only plastic resin uh, that came off on it. So I managed to get it all out. It looked terrible at first. I was like, oh my God, no. But I had a bit of tea cut and we got it all out. And you can't tell the difference. So we polished it all up, but it's too hot out here. It's too hot to stay. I was going to do the wheels, but uh, I ain't doing the wheels. It's just too Betty Swallock, so that's us. It's film night. What film are we watching? Who? Oh? Black. Pardon? Black. Who? Last City. Last City. Last, Lost City. Lost City. That's what we're going to watch. Oh, a bit of... Is that Bullock? Sandra but Oh, yeah. Let's... Uh, yeah, that works. See you later, guys. I am taking absolutely no responsibility. Uh, no, yeah, no, it's, no, no. It is. This is not my actions or doing where we have just ended up. This is all Jack's idea to come here, isn't it, Jack? Yep. Jack's nodding away there. Is it your idea, Jack? Yep. So, Mum, if money is spent here, it was all Jack's idea. That's a nice uh, visor, isn't it? We like that visor. Does that sun visor look all right, Jack? Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 I have a little light envy. Look where we're at. Oh my goodness. We are in Chrome 75 shop. Seventy-five. 
75. So it'd be rude if we're passing not to call in, wasn't it? Jack's never been here, so, you know, we've got to, got to nip in and show him the sights, haven't we, Jack? Yeah. Yeah. I want to show them my new T-shirt. Okay, then. Jack needs to show you his new T-shirt. There you go. I've got to work on that. Look at the car. Oh, oh, there's a car as well at the bottom. Yeah, there's the car. The car. Right. And then what does this say? Uh, that says Coca Beach. Coca Beach. Oh, look, look, it was all Jack's idea, like I say. We are at the Chrome 75. There we are, right up front, for full position. Jack made me spend money. We didn't spend too much though. Luckily, we got away with uh, not spending too much. So on we go, quick forward. Here we are, Chrome 75 shop. Like I say, pole position right over the front here. It is really humid. Ah, like I keep saying. Um, we've got to go and get going. Jack made me spend money, didn't you, Jack? Did you make me spend money? Yes, he did. So we've got to jump in the truck. Jet in the truck, Jack, and go start her up uh, and get going because it is the 3,100 miles to get in. Oh, okay. You can't open the door. There's a thing. It's not locked. Yeah, uh, 3,150 miles, that's to home. And then we've got another 100 miles to get us up to uh, Canada to unload, which is Wednesday. They'll give us a bit of leeway there. As long as I get there before dinner time, it should be all right. It's not a huge amount in the actual, uh, in the back anyway. It's not loaded right to the back door. So it shouldn't be, the, it should be unloaded up in Canada in about an hour or two. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah, been fun in there, uh, but like I say, we've got to actually hit it now. We've got to uh, make the miles up because I want to get, I want a half a day on the way home to break it up. Uh, so hopefully the idea is we're heading to uh, Sturges, have a half a day in Sturges, kick back, get um, get either a log cabin or something like that. Not a log cabin, you get this exaggeration, a huge cabin. It's like a shed basically because the uh, bike rally is on next week. Uh, so we should be up there the week before. So prices are right down tight, Yorkshire, but we can still get the t-shirt. Say we've been to the rally and get the hell out of there before it gets too noisy. Sturgis Bike Rally is not a place for kids. It really isn't. During the day, you're all right down Main Street or something like that, but on a night, you just don't take the kids. It's not, uh, it's not a rally for kids. It really isn't. Um, seriously. Uh, but it is a good fun, and it's the biggest and best bike rally in the world by my my ideas and I've done uh, I've done quite a few so you know I can say that I think let's go the uh, it's always a lot of traffic over this side of uh, all the way over this side once you get um, across to this uh, Alaska that the car's from from he's a long way from home um no he's not it's Kansas but they do a yellow number place so just forget that I know <laughs> okay bull 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 <coughs> oh dear, morning, so this is us, uh, just getting up this morning, well we've been up a bit, we've had a bit of a lazy morning, we've got, well we've got up early, but it's nearly time our 10 hours is up, so we're just tidying up a little bit, well one of us is, and uh, we're going to go over and get a wash, we, uh, we had a cracking day yesterday, we've got to the other side of uh, Nashville, about 50 miles north of Nashville, so that's good. We've got to get some fuel today, find somewhere cheap for some fuel. And um, this is where look, we, we dumped the truck last night in the uh, rest area. We're not exactly in a in one of the designated oils, but uh, this is where it is, so we better... Now everybody's moved. It was absolutely chock-a-block. It always is. This is the uh, second rest area when you get into Nashville, so hold on, Bob. Uh, I go for this one because I know I can just park at the back of the trailers. There's uh, usually that little bit of room to get there and put it in. So that's uh, where we ended up last night. And uh, now we're going to go into the beautiful rest area, this. We're going to go in there, have a wash, and uh, hit the road. I said we did, um, I only do 700 plus, nearly 700, yeah, 700, 700 plus miles yesterday, so that's, that's a nice piece, isn't it? Uh, 700 plus miles, which is pretty good going, because uh, we did get held up in Atlanta, 
going in. He, uh, so that cost me a couple of hours getting through Atlanta, which it always does, you know, you, it's to be expected coming across there. Uh, especially on a Friday as well, Friday afternoon. But uh, we, even with that, you know, we did pretty well. I have been hammering it. What will you get into the, to the gallon? I have been, well, not hammering it. Uh, let's have a look. I've been doing 70s. Uh, yeah, so it's dropped a bit. 8.9 to the gallon. Uh, oh, that's a, yeah. That ain't bad though. That's uh, that's since I set off with this one. So you know, I'm I'm all right with that. Uh, coming down. What did we get coming down? Oh, hey. That can't be right. We'll ignore that. <laughs> Eight point four coming down. No, that's all right. That's still all right because uh, like I say it, it was a uh, it was a heavy coming down. I can't remember. Yeah, it was fully loaded. So. That ain't bad at all, really. Uh, uh, average 8.4 8 over the whole thing. And my whole, since I started, 40,000 miles is... Uh, oh. It's saying now the full trip over 40,000 miles is down to 7.2 to the gallon. That's a bit bizarre, isn't it? I can't see how that is right. I don't trust these computers, you know. I'm gonna have to work it out. Look, 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 right, watch this. Look at this. So we have got. Let's turn that up. See, can you see that light? This is, uh, let's go full trip. 40,000 miles, 7.2. Yeah? 7.2 miles to the gallon. So then we'll go down a uh, 1,000. Uh, 1,662 uh, miles, 8.7. 3,008 miles, 8.2 miles, 9.1 miles, 9.1, miles, 9.1, 9.9, 9, 9, 8.6, 8.5, 8.4, 0, 0, 0, 8.4, 9.5. Are you following me? And so, how the overall has worked out with 7.2? is a bit misleading really don't you think yeah i've worked it out um i'm getting um mid 8.5s and things like that you need a haircut look at you bedhead um so i'm happy with what i uh, what i work it out if i calculate it on the calculator so we're all good with that aren't we bob are we ready to go let's do this Got to mention last night we had a uh, going on with a Bambi. No more Bambi. Uh, luckily the truck in front of me had already uh, squashed it. Uh, it was a low loader, low boy, like this thing. So it had gone straight over it and uh, it paved my way to just go straight over it basically. But um, we stopped straight away and I checked all underneath and stuff like that. It really is a good thing. And um, we've done a bit uh, better check this morning. Look, we've got all blood spattered on there as well. Um, to check everything right through because it's not just hitting the front and stuff like that. When you do hit one, it'll uh, obviously go all the way through and I've heard of airlines being pulled off and stuff like that. So get your noggin in there, get right in there, have a good look underneath to make sure nothing's hanging off or anything like that. Uh, and everything is all good. You don't want to be getting a bit further down the road and you've got a loose uh, brake cable or something like that. When you, if you can't stop, keep an eye on your brake, on, on your air pressure and stuff like that. Then make sure that everything's staying up because that'd be an inkling that you're going to lose pressure and you pulled an airline at the back or something like that. You know, you hit a 200 plus to 400 pound Bambi, it can make a hell of a mess. Luckily for me, like I say, it was already squashed down by the truck in front of me, hit it first. And, um, so I didn't really kill it, did I? No, I just, I just made sure it was dead. Turn left, then take the first right. So this is St. Louis. I had to come in the loves and get some fuel. It's not my favourite spot to stop, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, this is this is probably one of the places I would be locking my doors. Um, yeah, it's not. We have security. Uh, I'm security on night here and stuff like that. I think the truck stop might Turn should be alright but the first right. it's just got dodginess written all over it. This it's actually tied up as the truck stop. This used to be a bit of a, 
a mess in here. There used to be rubbish and all sorts all over the place, but they have tidied it up quite a bit. You see on a weekend everything's full up because there's not a lot of parking around here where people want to leave the trucks out anywhere. So people Turn right. go for here and uh, who, who live in the city. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be... Uh... I have been out when I first moved here. I went for a walk up as a pub just up the road here. They were, they were all right in there. It's a cool hall and restaurant and stuff like that. Uh, Felt a little out of place, if you know what I mean, but um, everything was cool, though nice. And that. Turn right, then take the first left. Turn left, then take the first left. Yes, yes, we've got the general idea. Yeah, uh, I need to get over the state line because fuel's uh, about 30 turn cents uh, less view, a gallon right. over, the, over the thing I was running on, on vapors as well, so. I've just got enough in at this one, I've just put just over 50 gallon, which gets me a truck shower for free. Um, $3.44 a gallon. Um, which isn't bad, I can live with that, but I didn't fill it right up because, excuse me, I'm eating. Further up the road, um, when I get into Iowa and up that way, I can um, get fuel quite a bit cheaper, another 40 cents cheaper, at $3.40, so I'll pull right up there, that'll get me just before Washington then, and um, fill up just before I get into Washington, in, in Idaho. Oh, uh, pretty yes, yes. Uh, um, Jack says it's all creepy around here. It is creepy. Creepy town. Just touchy look here. <laughs> On we go. Turn right on I-70 West. Get the hell out of here. What you get when it's extremely. <laughs> I love signs that tell you this <laughs> blatant, obvious storm warning. Uh, it's, uh, this is literally, we've just come out of the truck stop where we're videoing two miles down the road. Um, it's wind picked up and then watch this. It's really windy. Isn't it? Help because we're not very not very heavy at all, so not much fun. Take cover! Take cover, run for your lives! And then you always get one hero.
tree. What the fuck is it?
them said, yeah, you can come on on the pull through sites, the RV sites and, and stuff like that. So we were, uh, but the couple of them didn't have swimming pools. One, two of them did, we're gonna let me on. But as we've got closer and we've ended up running a little bit late, so it's not gonna be really worth getting the campsite with the weather being like this. So we're gonna go for a hotel tomorrow instead, but we're gonna go down into Sturges. You know, it'd be rude to, uh, Whoa! Somebody's got a sore head right there, haven't they? <laughs> that was like an upside down hill. Yeah, it was. So let's have a look to see if we can get into Sturgis, hopefully. And hopefully I should be able to get back to my usual place, I'm hoping. Shouldn't be too late. They, they will be setting up now. I have got a couple of little hidey holes I can get down there, but look at you look at everything. The campsites are filling up with a lot and everything. It's amazing. Absolutely. Gets me all giddy when it's this time of year through here. So this is my seventh year running. I've been through here. Uh, managed to make it to the rally. Oh dear. So maybe I've left it a little late and uh I think I could get parked in my uh, usual little hidey hole so I'm gonna have to try and find somewhere to spin this this little truck round. There is a truck there. People? My little pe people, the hidey holes. They, maybe I could just disguise them. They, nobody knows if you're actually a part of the rally. <laughs> Do they? So maybe I can just hang out anywhere see that's where I usually park um, just over here on the left but there ain't much chance of me getting anywhere near down there I don't think tonight I don't know I don't know you know motorbikes motorbikes Yellow means what, Jack? Red. It's about to turn red. I can't get wrong with that. Green light! Oh, she's Green in light. the way. I'm going to go down to the next one. Go for the green light. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Yellow means lights. It's about I can't get in. Red. What? I'll just wait. I can't get in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go on, Humphrey. You're gonna have to spook that uh, RV out of there. You're gonna moot curb, lad. You're gonna moot that curb. No, you're not. Who is? I thought it was gonna moot curb. Oh, we've got loads of room. How come we aren't up in our car park this year? That's weird. You have loads of room. There's loads of room, B. Some fancy trucks here, some yeah. greedy Turn trucks, fancy street. trucks. We've got Turn every kind left. of truck. So we'll just hanker down here, Bean. What do you think? We'll yeah. just disguise ourselves with, with this little lot. Yeah. There isn't a real little lot. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna back here. Back where? Back here where I usually do. Look at that! Look, that, that's a, a a bus with a with a bit on the bus. Oh, it is. It's a it's a bus with an extended school a school bus with an extension on the school bus. Yeah, someone built their own car. Oh, yeah, that's something, isn't it? Yeah, someone built their own car. Well, this is where we usually where we have been. This is us done. Good night. Bean has his first rally T-shirt. Age five, where do you take, when you're such as me, uh, being a biker just about all your life, where do you take your son? Hold that up, Bob. 
Sean, what have you got? Where do you take your son for his first rally and to get his first bike rally t-shirt? It's got to be Sturgis, hasn't it? But the thing is, how is he going to beat this now of any other rallies? You ain't here! <laughs> Well, here we are, setting up. It's uh, quarter past six in my time at home. It's quarter past seven here, and it's a hive of activity. Jack's still in the land of nod. We're gonna sneak on out and leave the party behind. Seriously, guys, this is the best rally, the best party, the best in the world. Remember guys, I just put a Facebook post. This is not, repeat, not a family event. Do not bring your young children and family here. It's not the place to be. It's not a, um, Riding around this area, around Rapid City, Spearfish, uh, um, what have you, is absolutely amazing. It really is. You aren't going to get any better. Red light. Red light. All right, I've stopped. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Police Officer. I thought you were asleep. Oh, did you? Just, just to make sure Daddy's doing the job. All right. Look at all the bikes, Jack. Look, look, look. Look at them all. You see them? Look, there's more on the other side. Lots of them, look at them all! There's even them bloody horrible trikes as well there. Every kind of bait, who's going it? My God, Jesus, no. Don't tell mummy, did I go through a red light? It's not a family uh, show here, so don't, you know. During the day, you might get a, you'll get away with a bit. It's still going to be loud. Uh, if you bring your kids, the need muffs on. If you've got young kids and stuff like that, obviously loud bikes, loud music, and stuff like that. So, green light. Thank you very much, sir. Morning up to lunchtime, something like that. You're all right to go down the main street, show them and things like that. But then after that, you don't, you don't want to be there. The people there, you know, the people are partying. Big gun, yeah, it's big, big gun. It's the same with the campsites as well, you'll find, you know, they're loud. So don't take your family and then go on a campsite and say, we couldn't sleep all night. It was really loud. It was this, it was that. That's what it's going to be. That was cool. That truck on the left. How are we doing with this one, Jack? Can we get through this one? I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Yellow light, we're gonna get a picture of Sturge's coffee place. Do you want a McDonald's? Yeah. Okay. Oh McDonald had a burger. Yeah. E -I -E -I -O. And where did the burger come from? He's cool of course! He's cool! They're going to be impressed with this one, aren't they? It's Sturgis Coffee Company. Well, they do pretty good, good coffee here, so... We're going to just... Hello, the plane. What? Hello, the plane. Well, those, no, the plane's on the front. Oh, salute the plane. So, salute the flag, yes, good lad. <laughs> He's my mutts, my boy. Uh, do you think we're all right here? Uh, it's America, isn't it? Just pull up and rock up. There you go. 
In Spain, I find, in America, you don't have to put your uh, hazard lights or four ways on anywhere. If you want to park just anywhere in Spain, I used to find, if you just put your hazard lights on, it seems to cover everything and you're all good to go then. I've blocked Mr. Jeep Man in, but never mind. Tommy hell! So guys, this is where I've ended up tonight. Uh, we're in a place called Drummond. Drummond in Montana, just off the 90. Uh, I've never come in here before, but we were done today. Jack was getting, we'd done 600, just about 600 miles. Uh, maybe I wanted to do a bit more, because we've still got uh, 593 to get home. But we went for an early finish, didn't we, Bob? Bob, didn't we? Didn't we go for an early finish? Jack, I did promise Jack a hotel with a swimming pool tonight. But they were really expensive, the swimming pools. He's a great kid. He said, that's all right, Dad. I see they're expensive. We can do that. So no swimming pool. The motel down the road here was 75 bucks uh, just for a normal motel. I, I aren't paying that. Um, not when we're on the road. If I had a, had a swimming pool, yes, but not today, I would. So we went for a pizza. We called in at the pizza place here. And I tell you what, this is a soup this is it this is the town you need to pull off the freeway i've done it a few times and this is the smallest little town ever with a big old freight train that runs through Yay! yeah which like i mentioned before once you've got used to that on oh, you don't hear it it doesn't wake you up you get used to it because you hear it all over america and then when you don't hear it you want to hear it don't you bean Anyway, so we went up there. There's one bar in this town with a pizzeria and that little cafe over there. We went in there. The woman was absolutely great. We both got pizza and had a very good night in there. And we'll be we'll be home tomorrow. Oh, if we don't get home. No, we're not using the... Jack wants to use the handle bit. We won't be home. Anyway, uh, let me tell you a bit about the town. What did I say the town was called? Drummond. Drummond. Drummond has more ranches than anything square mile than I'm anywhere to, basically in Montana. Huge, that. huge amount of ranches here. This is big, but this is redneck town. Let me tell you, this really is. It's, I'm it's, it's a lightsaber. Okay, that's nice. So, home tomorrow. Yes, yes, that's been two weeks on the road. Drummond. You need to visit, you need to get off the main track and get into these places. Oh yeah, that was it. I saw the local cop as well, as we pulled up, because there's a bit of a parking area there and what have you. We pulled up straight away, the local sheriff cop is, uh, who's parked up right up there actually now. See, the after the white car, you've got uh, the grey car, that's him there, doing his little, <laughs> this is his patrol, but obviously he's got loads of uh, other parts of the, um, the area to patrol and stuff like that. Just shouted across to him. Uh, I said, "Can I park here tonight?" He said, "I prefer if you spun round." Obviously, that's going east. Actually, the direction we're at now, the direction we need to be going is west. Um, in it, north, east. Yeah, we're going east. Yeah, good job I've got this in it. Uh, home is west. Uh, he said, "I prefer you spun round and parked right outside of this uh, this here building." And I said, "Yeah, that's not a problem. Park there the night. Love it." Under the big old flag. What do we do for the flag, Jack? What do you do? What do you do when you see the flag? Look. <laughs> Goodbye.